Hello everybody, Tangible Goddess, tuning in with you today. Blessings to all my kings and queens. What does the universe want to tell us today? Thank you guys for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, don't forget to like, vibe, and subscribe with your girl, Tangible Goddess. I love you guys. Make sure that you are meditating daily, taking care of that beautiful, beautiful body of yours, getting the upper amount of rest and sleep and just loving yourself as a whole because you are the best, most beautiful thing in this world and you deserve the best health ever. Love, love, love yourself because I love you so much. You deserve the best. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. You are awesome in your own beautiful way, in your own unique unique soul and spirit. Don't let no one tell you anything different. You deserve to be treated like a king and a queen that you are. Always remember that. Guys, the health tip of today is cumin. Cumin seed, cumin oil, however you want to get it. Cumin. C-U-M-I-N. Cumin is good for insomnia. It fights colds, fevers, and flus. It cures bronchitis and asthma. It's anti-aging, anti-inflammatory. It cures nausea, cures stress and anxiety. Gives you beautiful skin, healthy hair. What more can you ask for? It even aids in weight loss, cures cancer. Hey, and I'm only scratching the surface. Cumin is magnificent. So put it in your life. Put it in your life. Put some cumin in your life, okay? Do you know what today is? This is Wednesday. The girl of your dreams really exists. The guy of your dreams really exists. He really, really do. Let's get this reading popping, guys. I haven't even really prepared, but kind of, kind of prepared, but getting a good, good energy in the air. I'm going to light some sage as well. I got my selenite crystal here which cleanses the cards, cleanses the energy and all of my cards here that I'm gonna be pulling from today. Yes. So, let's see. I wanna light some sage. Light a little bit of sage. It's a little moth in here. Let's see if he's gonna make up. he come in the camera he hasn't came in the camera he's just flying around it's a little moth i'm chill today usually i'm scared of stuff anything flying around i'll be freaking out and be running for the hills but i'm chill today so i'm chill today i'm not freaking out like i would normally be like a moth but i'm chill today guys i got a good little good little spirit beautiful spirit going on today. Good energy. I uh, went to visit my mom today. <laughs> she was standing in the hallway talking to one of her neighbors in her door. Boom! Slam shit. And she called me come open up the door. And I'm glad she did because my mom has beautiful, beautiful energy and I love being around her. That's why my son, he loves my mom so much. I understand. She just got beautiful energy. She's a beautiful, beautiful person. So when you around her, she's infectious. Like you just love being around her. She has beautiful, beautiful energy. Good, good aura. So I'm hoping I can inherit that beautiful energy she has. So let's go, guys. Thank you for allowing me to just give you a little bit of information on my life um if you guys have any questions anything for me just put any messages below i'm currently doing ten dollar 
um, readings, just getting started on doing personal readings. I've been doing it with family and friends, but nothing outside of that. So I'm just getting started. I don't want to overprice anyone, but hit me up. So let's get, get my energy flowing, get out some good information to you guys that you're seeking. So allow me to share my good intuition and good spirit and energy. Let these spirit guides work through me. Yeah, so I thank you guys and I just love and appreciate you tuning in. Let's go, because I can go on talking forever. Okay, let me put my little book off to the side. So we're going to start off with the headspace of the Divine Masculine. I know a lot of times uh, the, a lot of Divine Feminists uh, watch these videos probably more than Divine Masculine. So I always start off with the Divine Masculine. I'm just pulling cards. I'm to make it quick because I rambled on so much. I rambled on so much. We're six minutes in. Headspace of the Divine Masculine. We we'll take much of spirit guides are with us. Headspace for the Divine Feminine. Right there. And Overall energy for twin flames throughout the world. Message from the universe. Two. Twin flames as a whole. Overall message. It's right there. to the divine masculine from his higher self yes I, this little moth flying around is so pretty to me. I'm even, like liking it <laughs> I'm liking it he's got good energy I hope he flies to the camera view so you guys can see him message uh, to the divine masculine from his higher self what does he want to say to himself sometimes we're not listening to our soul is calling out to us. So I'm gonna make you listen. What higher self message from, to the divine feminine from herself? What does your higher self wanna tell you, divine feminine? We're gonna to listen today. I'm gonna to make you guys listen, okay? Even if you're not meditating, you're gonna hear it today. The soul is gonna to speak to you today by way of me and your divine spirit guides okay what does the divine feminine want to say to the divine masculine what does the divine feminine want to say to the divine masculine Does the divine masculine want to say to the divine feminine? I saw that card jump up like that. It's okay. Your message is going to get out, divine masculine. What do you want to say to your beautiful divine feminine? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's start. We're going to start off with the message from the universe. Love it. To uh, twin flames throughout the world, it's broken arrow. It said, "Embrace the energy of peace." I love, love, love this broken arrow card. And guys, what this broken arrow card insinuates is you don't need it. You know, arrows are used for fighting. Arrows are used for fighting your opponents. You shoot the arrow to kill someone. To uh, impel someone to stop them from chasing you or coming after you what have you but the universe is giving you a broken arrow and the reason is it says embrace the energy of peace what this card signifies is you need to be in at peace now you have you know you don't have a need for this arrow 
and it's broken for a reason because the universe is fighting for you. Your spirit guides and ancestors are fighting for you. You no, no longer need an arrow. It's broken for a reason. So, no fighting. Don't try to fight anything. Let your angels, your ancestors, and spirit guides fight for you. Your universe has your back. How beautiful is that? Broken arrow. You don't need it. It's broken. You can't use it if you try. They got your back. The universe has your back. Okay. Headspace for the divine masculine is... Bum, 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 bum. I'm still looking at that little moth. It's so beautiful flying around in here. Moving on. That's what I like, Divine Masculine. Especially, I, for some reason, I just get the feeling that the Divine Masculine is in, in some troubled places. He's moving on. He's moving on. I love it. I love it. Go on, Divine Masculine. Move on. And if you really look closely at this beautiful card, what you will see is, in the background, these are old leaves. Old, dried up leaves. Up here, you got beautiful, fresh leaves. So you're moving on to something beautiful, Divine Masculine. I love it. Way to go. Way to go. So that's the headspace of Divine Masculine. He's moving on. Yes. You're getting into something beautiful, something new, fresh and refreshing. Cheers to that. Shout out to Fernando. I love you, Fernando. My drink is delicious. Just like yours. Oh, the beat. The beat. <laughs> I love Fernando. Anyway. Shout out to Fernando. I love you. Um, headspace of the Divine Feminine is movement, choices, decisions, which is two. Oh, by the way, moving on. Divine Masking, your, your number on your card was six, which is saucy. Yo, Steez, yo. Aura, yo, good vibes. Shout out to D Boone. He taught me that. So yeah. Six sauce. Yes. You're looking good while you're moving on, Divine Master. I like it. Um, Divine Feminine is two. It's uh movement, choices, and decisions. It could be two beautiful people moving on. I mean, well. Divine Master's moving on. So the two, only with two always reminds me like a couple. It could be anything. It could be you and your job. But you're moving. You're making movement choices and decisions, Divine Feminine. And you got some beautiful choices. I see, hey, it could be anything. I see two rings like a relationship. I see money. So that could be a job or your own business that you're starting. Um, this looks like a, a, a plant. So it could be... Um, Sometimes plants and fertilization can be like a baby. I see the skies, the limits. So it's just it's so many things that you could be moving on to, but you have to make a movement, choices, and decisions in your life. And Divine Feminine, I know you want to make the right choice and decision, but you, that's what you're currently doing. You're making movement, choices, and decisions. So you could be literally moving somewhere. Yeah, make a choice in business decisions. That's I like that. So we're both in good places. Good places. I like it. Let's see uh, what the divine masculine higher self wants to tell him is love partnership, which is 26. Where's my little book? That's the numerology deck. Love partnership, 26. That's eight, that's infinity. So whatever love partnership that you're considering going into divine masking, your higher self is telling you that is going to be for infinity. It's going to be something, that, uh, a wonderful life choice that you're making in a love partnership. Let's see, 26. It says, this card indicates a time when a romantic relationship is about to enter your life. Perhaps you are single and are about to meet a special someone, or maybe you are in, your current relationship is about to progress to a deeper, deeper level of understanding and commitment. Either way, love is just around the corner, provided you believe. In the meantime, you're being encouraged to focus on what you have to offer 
rather than what you like to receive. By doing so, you will attract a mutually loving relationship that serves both parties' needs. Remember, you must believe that love exists in order to attract it in your life. So work on any limiting beliefs or negative thoughts you may have about love. In order to improve your current situation, Divine Masculine, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward a romantic love relationship. So love and appreciate yourself as you are today. Embrace your imperfections and be assured that you are worthy of love. Your, your loved one will appear when you know without a doubt that you are lovable and deserving. That's absolutely right. The affirmation for you, Divine Masculine, is from your higher self. I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on its way. That's right, Divine Masculine. Love is on the way and I love it. Beautiful message from your higher self. That's your soul speaking to you, Divine Masculine. So take that. Take it, take it, take it. Listen, you're gonna listen, okay? Message to uh, the divine feminine from her higher self is love. Oh, I like the way this is all real, well, not love, and it's also six C's. So your love, love, divine feminine. Regarding to your sauce, how saucy you is. You know, we just be saucy, divine feminine. Saucy. The divine mass is saucy too. He got that six in his reading as well. So we just saucy, just hey, can't help it. We just born this way, okay? Can't help it. Love, I love it. Let's see, divine feminine six. Love, 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 love. Yeah, it says. Now, Divine Femi, keep in mind this is from your higher self as well. It says your soul is speaking to you. It says this card indicates the need to see the world through the eyes of love and to remember at all times that only love is real. Only love is real. Only love is real at all times. <laughs> when you look beyond the illusion to see the beauty in the world, you align yourself with source and the intentions of your soul. Because you attract what you are, when you see through the eyes of love, that's what you will surround you in all areas of your life with love. Yes. This card also indicates the need to go within to recognize and address any limiting thoughts and beliefs that are holding you back from experiencing love. Isn't it just what we, the divine masculine self is pretty much saying to him as well? Wow. This is a time when you must ask yourself, am I truly open to giving and receiving love? Do I truly believe I am worthy of love? And do I really believe that love exists for me? See, mirror, this beautiful mirror in the Twin Flame community, divine masculine, divine feminine. Mm. Because love only comes when you believe that it exists, when you're open to giving and receiving it. And when you know that you are worthy. So you guys are in two beautiful places. Your soul is telling you that you deserve love. And it's, it's there for you. It's beautiful. In order to improve your current situation, Divine Feminine. You are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to see and believe in love. When you believe in yourself and cherish your life as it is today, love will embrace you in ways you have never known. Unconditional love of self and others will attract more love into your life. The affirmation for you, divine feminine from your higher self is, I see through the eyes of love and attract more love into my life. That's right. I love it, I love it, I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it. Look at this. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> okay, message to the divine masculine from the divine feminine is nourish yourself. Aw, the little rabbit. Of course, of course, of course. Vegan life. <laughs> 
And I'm not pushing it like that, but hey, hey. This car keep coming. I mean, you know what I'm saying? These little vegetable cards keep coming up. Divine feminine, divine masculine, the divine feminine wants you to be healthy. That's all. Even if it's, you know, you know, if you can't, if you're not feeling the vegan, you gotta put these vegetables in your life. You know, take, hey, shout out to Ralph Smart. Seven day vegan challenge. Do Try it. Try it. It seems hard, but it's not. It's all about uh, loving yourself enough. And um, I just saw this little, I might put it, I'm going to try to put it in the video. But it says the first sign of awakening is controlling what you put in your body. If you can control what you eat, you're well on your way to spiritual awakening. Control what you're putting in your body. Okay, Divine Master, this is coming from the Divine Feminine. She loves you. And she, it says, nourish yourself. She wants you to be healthy, of course. Of course. Of course. It says... Have you been using food to numb rather than nourish? Be honest. If so, break that pattern today. Show yourselves that you care by choosing healthy, wholesome foods made with love. Eat your vegetables, make green juice, and toast to longevity. Cheers. Toast to longevity, Divine Masculine. Cheers. Stay healthy. Stay on that healthy path. That's the message from your divine feminine. She loves you and just want to see you at your best health. That's why I always say, love yourself, eat healthy, get the ample amount of rest and sleep because I love you all, divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay, message to the divine feminine from the divine masculine is... Bum, 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 bum. Something bigger is on the way. And look at the the divine feminine looking off into the sunset with a little doggy. Something bigger is on the way. Take it as it resonates. Oh, Lord. Right. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. So your divine, don't, no need to fret or worry, divine feminine. Something bigger is on the way. Uh, you guys may have been going through some stuff lately, and I know I have. I know I have. So something bigger is on the way. Don't give up. Like I've been saying in my Zodiac readings, if you guys didn't check that out, I just did a little Zodiac Surrender series. So check that out. I did one for every single sign. So everybody has a Zodiac sign. Check it out and get your surrender message and add it along with this one. I love you guys. It says something bigger is on the way. Message to the Divine Feminine from the Divine Masculine. It says... Allow your vision to expand and be open to the form it takes. You may discover that you were dreaming too small or what seemed like an obstacle is actually pointing you in a better direction. The universe, the universe always has your back. Divine message letting you know, divine feminine, the universe always has your back. So whatever trouble is coming along, uh, and it may look like a, a big setback, but guess what? It's a setup for what? Something bigger is coming your way, Divine Feminine. And it's something bigger and beautiful that you love, okay? So, hey, and I, I can feel it, and I can feel it already because I've been having some setbacks lately, but I know it's not a setback. It's a setup for what? Something bigger and better. Thank you guys for tuning in. I love you so much. Blessings to all my kings and queens. Grand rising all day, every day. And if you missed anything, rewind and watch again. I love you guys. Peace. <laughs>